you were born in West Africa. So did you always envision like the American dream? Man, my dream was just to come to America and work at McDonald's. Wow. Really? So everything that's happening right now is to pass my dreams, you know. Um, I came here to the States, and, and I'm back in Africa. You know, all we cared about was just, you want to get a girl, just wear brand new clothes. Women just care about you having new clothes. It was me as a kid back in the yeah. late 80s before I came to America. And when I came to America, it was a little different. Not only you have to have new clothes, but it has to be name brand. And I remember my first day going to school in America. My mother took me to like Macquarie's and Woolworth. I'm not sure how old you are. Yeah. Oh, I remember Woolworth. Yeah, Woolworth. Remember Woolworth. Yeah. yeah. Bought me a shirt, $6.99. Bought my sneakers in Pathmark next to chicken. <laughs> nice. She bought chicken and bought my sneakers. My sneakers was called in action. Okay. <laughs> and some church pants. I didn't care. I was happy. I had a brand new clothes. There you go. Wow. Yes. I went to school. The kids like, what you wearing? I said, what you mean what I'm wearing? This is brand new. Yeah. OK. Yeah. They said, they said, it's not Nike, it's not Puma, it's not Adidas. I said, it's brand new. Yeah. Yeah. That's Never right. been used, but it didn't matter. They roasted me. And so I spent the whole summer working. And then after that, I took my money and I went and bought me some name brands stuff. And that's how I started to be funny. So once I was starting wearing right. clothes, Started. I started having confidence. friends, gave me confidence. And I was like, hey, what are you wearing? And I started making fun of other people. Nice. Oh.